Nature can be beautiful and exciting, but even in your own backyard, it always happens. You see something great, but no one else is there. What can you do? A nature journal is one of the best ways to share your natural experiences with people who weren't there at the time. A nature journal is a great way to learn about nature, record your backyard observations, and see how things change over time. With me today is my friend Kimberly May, who knows all about nature journaling. Kim, how does one get started? Oh, it's really easy. All you need is a sketchbook and some pencils. You can add color too. I like to use watercolors because they're easy to use. But Kim, you're a really good artist. What about everybody else? Anyone can have a nature journal. Drawing's like anything else. The more you do it, the better you get. But wouldn't it be easier to just snap a picture? Oh no, a camera only shows you what's there, not what you're trying to show. Besides, it's not just accuracy of the picture that counts, it's the process. The process? What do you mean? Well, when you're drawing something, you really look at it. You notice things you otherwise would have missed. And I'll often write down these observations next to my drawing to help me remember. Your writing is just as important as your art. What if you're trying to draw something, but you're not sure what exactly it is? Well, in that case, I'd get as good a look as I could get and then start drawing right away. This helps me remember. Then later I might check in a book or a field guide like this. There are even how-to books on nature journaling. You can start with something as simple as a leaf by noting the color, size, and texture. Who knows what this backyard exercise can lead to? Many of the most famous nature writers started off just like this.